Hello and good afternoon. My name is Theresa Hackett. I manage the programme on copyright and libraries at IFL. Our partner in Kyrgyzstan is the Kyrgyzstan Library Information Consortium, CLIC. Many thanks for the invitation to join your event on recent developments in Kyrgyzstan's copyright law. Eiffel has been working with CLIC on copyright issues for a number of years. Three years ago, in 2014, I had the pleasure of giving an online presentation at the first conference on open educational resources and digital education. Then in 2016, we participated in Copyright and the Digital Age, a conference in Bishkek that adopted resolutions on the Marrakesh Treaty for Persons with Print Disabilities and proposals to amend the copyright law in support of access to knowledge. I'm delighted to join you today at another milestone moment that marks the recent signing into law of copyright amendments in support of education, libraries and people with print disabilities. I'll talk briefly about the amendments and the context for copyright reform around the world. So the amendments concern so-called limitations and exceptions. So these are limitations and exceptions to the exclusive rights of copyright owners. Limitations and exceptions are the fundamental way for students, researchers and citizens to legally access and use, within reason, copyrighted content. And they also allow libraries to fulfil their institutional mandates to collect and preserve information for long-term access and the benefit of society. So limitations and exceptions, along with open access and open educational resources, are an important part of the modern information infrastructure to increase access to knowledge. We were delighted that progressive new provisions have been adopted in your copyright law. And these enable the use of uh, OERs, facilitate distance education and allow libraries to digitise works in their collections. So we'll be looking forward to analysing the new law in more detail and to sharing the developments with the global library education and copyright communities. Because copyright reform is a hot topic around the world. For example, in Australia, the introduction of a broad exception modelled on US fair use has recently been recommended. In the European Union, proposals to modernise copyright rules for education and cultural heritage and to enable cross-border access to content online are being discussed. Um, other countries like Poland and the UK have also adopted new amendments in the last uh, number of years. Then at the international level, the Marrakesh Treaty for Persons with Print Disabilities was adopted by member states of the World Intellectual Property Organization, known as WIPO, in 2013. And this is the first international agreement establishing mandatory exceptions for a group of beneficiaries, in this case, people who are blind and visually impaired. We were delighted that a bill for accession of the Kyrgyz Republic to the Marrakesh Treaty was signed into law in March. Um, a tremendous achievement and a significant step for people with print disabilities everywhere. And when the instrument of accession is deposited at WIPO in Geneva, we hope that the Kyrgyz Republic will become the first country in Central Asia to ratify the treaty. Work then on limitations and exceptions continues at WIPO, in particular for libraries and archives and education, where we're looking for solutions to legal problems in providing access to information across borders, problems that can only be solved at the international level. And the reason is because typically copyright exceptions stop at the border. And libraries often can't legally provide information on request to other countries, like, for example, um, international document supply services. And next week, we'll be in Geneva again, 
making our case to member states and, um, and the international copyright community. So it just remains for me to thank you all for your work and the achievements. You're a great team and it's been great working with you. And of course, the next step is now to implement the changes that have been adopted to the copyright law, to raise awareness, to look at the practical applications and to build the confidence of the library and education communities in using the new provisions. And of course, IFL's here to provide uh, any assistance or, or help. So I hope the rest of the event goes well today. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and I'd like to say goodbye and das Vidania. Bye.